Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be looking into the AMCL package. You might have guessed it already through the title. So the things which we'll be looking into are what is the AMCL node? We'll know how to write the amcl.launch file and how to launch it and visualize the localized robot in Arvis. And the last part would be the map. How do we change and how do we get different maps? Let's get into it. So in the earlier videos in my Catkin workspace, I've shown that I have created a TurtleBot tutorials package. And now I have created a launch folder using the mkdir launch command. Let's see. So we have the amcl.launch file inside it. it I'm going to upload this on my GitHub. So you can just download and get started. Let's look into it. So it's very simple to launch the AMCL. All you need is to specify this. That is the node package, AMCL, AMCL, and AMCL. That is the node package name is AMCL, the type is AMCL, and even the name is AMCL. Quite simple, right? And there are a few arguments which you might want to provide if you don't have them set in your environment. That is the initial position x, y, and angle. It, it are initially taken default as zero. So if you don't provide it and your robot is at zero comma zero comma zero, you're totally fine with it. The last thing is the scan topic. The default value is again scan. So if you don't provide it, it's fine. If you have the topic name as scan, make sure you remember that. But if you launch only this two things, that is if you only launch the AMCL package, you might get an error that there's no map file. So to get that, you need to launch the map server, which will take the map file which you have provided. I've currently provided the turtlebot gazebo map file, which is the pre-existing map file provided for the turtlebot world, which we always launch. In the last section of this video, we'll look at how to provide a custom map and the last part, these are particular the parameters of the AMCL package. That is the maximum particles, minimum particles, and laser max range, etc., which you can change to make sure your robot localizes better. You can have a more idea about it from the AMCL ROS wiki page. And they have a nice description of all the parameters. That is the minimum number of particles is the minimum particles, etc. So let's start launching everything and see how we get it. So the first thing which we, non, which we need to launch is the ROS world, right? The gazebo world, that is turtle bot from all the previous videos. I'm pretty sure now you are very used to launching this. And turtle bot world don't launch. So yeah, your turtle bot is here. The next part is launching the so this is I am now inside my catkin workspace and now I'm launching the word uh, the AMCL launch file through my package so I'll do ROS launch turtle bot underscore tutorials that's my package name AMCL dot launch so you see there are a few two nodes which are launched that is AMCL and map server as well the next part is we'll launch Arvis because this will give us a nice view of what the robot is seeing look at how pretty this is the pre mapped environment which ross has provided us with and i have added one more thing that's the point cloud you can go ahead here and add it and select the topic and yeah we'll understand the need of it in the next part so the next part in the video is to launch the turtle bot teleop so let's go ahead and launch it. So we'll need turtle bot underscore teleop package and we'll launch the keyboard teleop since we have the keyboard. Okay, so as I mentioned in the G mapping video that these values are for the speed and managing that increasing, decreasing, etc. And this is to move the robot around. So let's start it. Let me press L. And you see that these are this red arrows come up. 
So this arrows are the are what you get from the point cloud data in the Arbis. And basically what happens is they represent the belief where the robot is. And right now it's pretty scattered because it's not we have not moved the robot around. It has not taken a lot of data and thus all of them are scattered around and the belief is not good. And if we start moving it around, let's say I press, I'll make it move forward. So it's starting to converge, right? It's starting to see a lot of features and uh, it's trying to converge. One more thing to remember is if in case uh, you don't have a lot of features in your map, then it might create an issue because that way uh, the robot will not localize properly and you will constantly see the you know the belief scattering and you know come coming back again together so make sure you have a lot of features right now also we see that we don't really have a lot of features this is completely empty only this this and this is something where it can actually understand where it is um, so now I can say that okay my robot has localized properly let's see in gazebo where it is so you see in gazebo it's exactly and in that position actually facing in those direction and this is what we get in our ways itself so we can say that our robot has localized properly so yes now let's come to the part of changing the map and yes so to start that I'm closing everything out and we'll go to this that is the AMCL launch what this represents here was the map as I told earlier and I'm going to comment it out and uncomment this map file. This is the TurtleBot tutorials package. I'm telling it to find it and then I'm providing where exactly it is. That is inside maps. I have map1.yml. This is the map1.yml which we stored and we saved it in gmapping. Let's see. So it's inside desktop, Catkin workspace, inside SRC, I have TurtleBot tutorials and inside TurtleBot tutorials, that is find TurtleBot tutorials inside that maps and you have map1.yml. Okay, this is the one which is being opened up. And if you see this map1.pgm, this is the one which we stored during gmapping and this will be the one which will be right now loaded let's check it out if that is true or not so i'll launch everything again and let's launch arvis so now when we launch arvis we should get our own map and you get it so yes so if you have another world and you have mapped it you can just make the simple changes to your environment and you'll be good to go so this is all for this video and I hope you understood and the next part will be about path planning that is making the turtle bot move from this position to that position and making sure it does not collide to any local or global obstacles. Um, if you have any doubts, please let us know in the comment section below. Till then, keep watching Robometrics.